So much to talk about this morning with the always provocative Ann Coulter. She's had seven bestsellers, never shies away from a hot debate. And you can tell from the title of her new book, Demonic, how the liberal mob is endangering America. And she's ready for a few more debates. And Ann, welcome. I want to get to the book in just a second. But we got to begin with <laughs> Congressman Anthony <laughs> Weiner. You, you almost predicted it last week. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you for noticing that. In fact, he used almost the same terms in his press conference yesterday as I did in my column. He twittered this by mistake. He thought it was a private tweet, sent it to his whole list, panicked and claimed he had been hacked. Now, I think we might be able to agree on at least one thing, that sex scandals know no party. Uh, recent, recent <laughs> no, that's true, but I would say, um, consistent with the theme of my book, the liberals behave like a mob, that, that conservatives respond to their sex scandals differently because we don't we don't elevate our leaders there isn't a sort of messiah worship a mob characteristic we're worried about being consistent we don't, aren't comfortable with contradictory thinking the only republican sex scandal where the republican didn't resign or not run for re-election um, is vitter down in louisiana and that After was soliciting prostitutes but that was seven years earlier by the time it broke he had he had apologized to his wife it was over it came out when the dc madame release, releases her list and by the way everybody knew there were Democrats on Although that Although Mark list. Sanford of Governor so, of South Carolina held on as well for a long time. Lisha, a brief time. time, but the, the basic Republican response is not to attack the person who just released this information. And by the way, congratulations to ABC. You guys own the Wiener story. You did all the reporting. But the way, I mean, all of the reporting on this last week was to attack Andrew Breitbart, attack some random hacker. I don't know who broke the Mark well, Foley and, story. And, and what's, what's, I don't know who broke. Actually, ABC was on top and of that. And by the way, we well. were upset about that because I believe you guys, I th that's the only one where I remember the source at all. And the claim was that ABC had it, but they held it until the day after Foley couldn't be replaced. Oh, that's not true. Anyway, let's get to the book. <laughs> Demonic, How the Liberal Mob is Endangering America. You write, and this is, I think this is a fair quote to pull from the book. You say, basically, Republicans are the party of peaceful order. Democrats are the party of noisy, violent mob. And you say that's rooted in uh, Democrats following the French Revolution, Republicans following the American Revolution. Explain that. Yes. Well, the first part is sort of a psychological profile of the left. Um, so even liberals who are wondering why they behave the way they behave might want to read it because it explains it. And it's all mob psychology from this French psychologist um, or social psychologist, uh, Gustave Le Bon, who is the father of groupthink. And, and Hitler and Mussolini studied him to learn how to incite mobs. And as I was reading it, I read a lot of books on mobs and groupthink. I mean, everything, it just describes the behavioral patterns of the left. And then the middle section, I go through, well, the American tradition, which is to write arguments, like the Declaration of Independence. That's what we celebrate. What did the French celebrate? Bastille Day, where a bunch of lunatics storm an empty prison because they thought it was unsightly and it was based on rumors. And if you look at the history of the left in this country, um, including the Klan in the South, which was democratic, contrary to revisionist history. Started out that, democratic, but turned very quickly. But you know, you also Not to Republican. You take on the civil rights movement, and, and that's where it seems you, you, you fall into some contradictions. You, you, you seem to suggest that that is part of the mob, yet this was a peaceful mob almost entirely, yet you seem to ex express some kind of understanding for anti-abortion protesters who use violence. No, 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 I'm comparing the two, actually. I think they're very similar. And, and the reason I raised the civil rights movement is that gave mobs a halo, because that was the first time mobs were being deployed. Because it was peaceful, it was civil disobedience. No, it was the cause behind it. Um, up until then, from, from, the, um, from the beginning of the revolution to the Shays Rebellion to the draft riots here in New York City by Democrats lynching blacks, it was always a, the left, it was Democrats, it, the SDS, the Weathermen. It was all, mobs have always been a bad thing. Civil rights movement was the first time in this country it started to give street protests. I mean, not all street protests are going to be a mob, but my point on this, well, two different things. One is comparing Martin Luther King to Thurgood Marshall, who sort of surprising to me became a hero of this book because when I was in law school, he was just signing on to all the opinions with Justice Brennan. I just thought of him as a liberal. Um, but his history, I mean, it is the tradition of the American Revolution. He's making arguments. He's bringing court cases. He is winning them. In 1954, he won Brown versus Board of Education. Was, if there had been Republican presidents for that eight years, nine years from, from 60 to 68, you never would have had to have a civil I, I, rights I, movement. I wish we had more time. I think Marshall and King would see themselves as allies. but They did not. I quote, I quote Thurgood Marshall but, criticizing Martin Luther King. Ann Coulter, thanks very Thank much. Thank you.